Well, good morning. Welcome back to Daybreak. Ellen Rohr joins us. I know we're past spring cleaning, but Never. we could <laughs> we could use some help here on the set. Yes. Clean is good and dirty is bad. And I want to, I always talk about money. Yep. And I want to connect the dots with keeping it clean to clean up. So if you're a business owner or a manager, I want you to listen up. Moms, this could apply to your family too, but particularly when it comes to making money, clean is better than dirty. So I'm going to talk about the cleanup. Okay, so right. you talk to managers, bosses, whatever. What business owners, yeah. what can they do? Where do you start? Well, first start with the why. Why does it matter if there's a little bit of clutter? Here's one reason. Felix versus Oscar. Are you old enough to know who the odd couple is? Uh. Oh, man. <laughs> well, for you. Okay, the odd couple was our Felix's is a, is a neat nick and Oscar is a slob. Okay. Now Oscar can live in Felix's world. Keep it, cle keep it as clean as you like. He's going to put his feet on the table and his beer on the on the counter and, and there you go. But Felix, a neat nick, cannot live in a messy world. So if your shop or your place of business is a mess, a neat nick can't work there and will leave. And these are the good ones. The these are the people you want to keep. Yeah. The people you want to keep. So even if it's a stretch for you, you got to clean it up. Second thing is if your place is a mess, you waste time looking for stuff. And time is money. So everything in its place is a way like, to make I knew that money. receipt was somewhere. Well, let me. Yeah, here yeah, you go. Where it? is it? And you're digging through. Susie, have you seen? It goes on. Right. The third thing is if you're going to talk to your team about customer care, and doing things right and excellence, and you're talking over a mess, you lose integrity, and that's not good for business. Are you with me? I'm with you. Okay, so when you go to clean the place up, might I suggest you start with your desk. So here's how you clean your desk. Are you ready? <laughs> Just you take your, your, your desk or your arm or a broom and you sweep everything off of it. You start from scratch. You could do that. How dramatic. You go into the office and you sweep it all off. Everything off the floor, everything out of the office. You don't even tell anybody what you're doing. And then anything that can move, you move out. You clean the walls, maybe a little paint, and then you put everything back, and you put it back as if it were a special place, a sacred place where you are doing your highest work. Doesn't and I know that a lot of times, inspire? I mean, even in the newsroom, you just you, you gain clutter. Yeah. Right? And so you almost need to just have that detox at some point and yeah. say, I don't need this or I need to treat this. And if, if I walked up to your desk and it looks like a mess, I make some assumptions about you. I would right? Hope so. so as the leader of the company, you lead by example and you put everything back. Then you move to the warehouse and you do the same thing. You rent the power washer for the day, you get pizzas for the kids, everybody pitches in and you go to spick and span. You'll make more money. Very good. And if I don't know if you need more money, more motivation than that, than money. Yeah. I mean, you need more money. I do. Yes, please. Always like that. Awesome. So that's my uh, financial tip for today. There you go. Go out, make some money, clean in the process. Daybreak. We'll be right back. <laughs>